vampires, monsters, demons, haunted houses, a black lodge in the mountains, a cursed lake, an underworld on the other side. What's a small town without some strangeness to it these days? You don't have to have grown up in a small town or suburbs to understand the personal horror that comes from a stranger buying a house across the street from you in the middle of the night. You don't have to have grown up in the 1980s to have a deep connection to gateway horror and kids' adventure movies. It, Salem's Lot, The Goonies, The Monster Squad, Eerie Indiana, and Gravity Falls to name but a few. They've all given us an entertainment niche that, when done right, provides plenty of eerie chills and exciting spills for a young cast. Bloomtown, a different story, takes inspiration from these sources, and many, many more, to present a personal, close-to-home story about the darkness infecting a small town. With a heavy dose of both it and Stranger Things in its DNA, Bloomtown throws you into the shoes of a very traditional 2D pixel art turn-based RPG, with a dose of Persona for some added spice. In typical summer tradition, siblings Emily and Chester have been sent to the eponymous town of Bloomtown to spend the summer with their grandfather. There are family problems that need solving, and Mom needs some space due to work issues. Feeling abandoned, Emily and Chester decide to make the best of the situation, as their grumpy grandpa is of the old-school get-a-job mold. They're barely there for a day before they're thrown into Bloomtown's many mysteries and missing persons cases. But when Emily finds herself transported to the underworld for a quick meeting with Lucifer, things start to get decidedly deadly. Before long, Emily finds herself with a guardian demon and a job to wrangle another three rogue demons. Now, while the combat and questing are as traditional as can be, Bloomtown throws some other ingredients into the mix that buff up the core mechanics, but never outshines them. There's some basic crafting and gardening to deal with if you want, light social mechanics to engage with, and real jobs to work because Grandpa is a cheapskate. That's all wrapped up with a day-night mechanic that turned out to be, thankfully, far less strict than I feared it would be. Let's get the Persona comparisons out the way first. Yes, there are social mechanics that take time out of your day to complete, and the main dungeons are broken up over multiple days. But where Persona is usually strict in these mechanics, Bloomtown takes a more relaxed approach to letting you get to know your party members. And you do want to get to know them, because, outside of their typically dark backstories that lift Bloomtown's narrative above another typical summer holiday cliché, each tier of storytelling opens up new gameplay perks for the character, from negating damage to using less points to cast a spell, getting to know your friends has tangible perks. As with Persona, everything you do takes time. There's a ticking clock on the top of the screen that counts down your activities, whether you're crafting new lockpicks in your room, working out in the gym, or going on a visual history tour of Bloomtown. You're going to have to be ready for your days to pass quickly. Unlike Persona, though, you're not limited to one activity that saps away your entire afternoon, and you can do everything in one day if you get started early enough. So while you can only work when the shops are open, the time management mechanic fits in with the rest of the game's breezy but creepy nature. The combat, meanwhile, is perfectly by the numbers. There are enemy types such as tanks and witches that soak up damage or heal other enemies, and there are elemental attacks that enemies are resistant or weak to. For the most part, the combat is also light and breezy for a turn-based game, but there's enough depth to the system and certain enemy combinations will require some strategy to defeat. Using those elemental weaknesses and building up combos between attacks is the first key to victory, along with recognizing which enemy needs to be taken off the board first. Each party member has a guardian demon that gives them access to magic attacks, and every couple of levels you get to choose a new skill for the demon to use. Demons can also be captured if you deal a heavy enough attack to stun them, and they can then be fused together to create high level variants with new attacks that can be equipped to add further magical attacks to your arsenal. As with all traditional turn-based RPGs, you can power level your way to victory if you want to. Bloomtown's story and its characters are the real MVP here, though. There's enough quirkiness and humour to keep a smile on your face, but the story isn't afraid to take things down a very dark well. Whether it's the abuse suffered by one of your party members, or children disappearing or being murdered, Bloomtown really is the quintessential summer retreat spot, ripped right from an 80s or 90s horror. This also applies to the visuals, and the game has some pretty pixel animation to go along with the cast, with colourful, slightly kid-friendly enemy designs. There are some nice touches, such as slapping a demon to instigate combat, but I feel that the overall look has become par for the course with pixel art games these days. 
Less nice, however, are the performance issues. I tested Bloomtown on both an aged Xbox One X and the current gen Series X, and both machines suffered performance issues. On the One X there was a fair amount of stutter, while on the Series X I had multiple crashes to the dashboard. It hasn't stopped me from enjoying the game, but it's an issue that needs to be looked at, at least as of the time this review goes up. Wrapping up, Bloomtown A Different Story takes you into the dark underbelly of paranormally infused small town life. It has a good story, fun combat mechanics, and an interesting cast that makes it a joy to play. If you like traditional RPGs with a healthy dose of Stranger Things on the side, Bloomtown might be for you. If you've got this far, please consider giving the video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel as it helps us grow.